Hello everyone! We have got some episode summaries, I guess also technically spoilers, uh, for basically rest of the month and everything. So we get some interesting information. Well, not really like too. It's not really that crazy. So if you if you if you don't want to watch because it's gonna be really insane on spoiler, it, it's not. There's only like one thing that I think gets confirmed that I guess is a spoiler. So if you don't like spoilers for whatever reason for Beyblade, uh, yeah, just head off the video. <laughs> anyway, it's obviously credits and links to the description, obviously for the video, for the translations and everything. Uh, so. Yeah, again, credits with the B.O. Let's go over it, so... There's obviously a few things to go over. So, two of them already have the summaries, the other two do not. We're gonna go over them one by one, I'm just gonna double check on which one's first, but... Yeah, leave a like and leave a comment and let me know your thoughts after you listen to the video. And yeah, let's get started with episode. Yeah, I don't know why we think it's the, the 20th just for the summer, but it doesn't really matter. We're gonna go on to 21! Where the Great Revolution, the Legend Festival begins. So, for those who have been complaining, oh man, when's the plot gonna get started? Uh, yeah, I guess now. I guess now. I mean, the whole idea was just a legend festival anyway, so they got to just introduce all the legends. Uh, normally, it, it's kind of weird because it feels like they live with Scott, how they kind of had like the, the whole thing. You, you'll get to what I'm saying in a second. Anyways, the legend festival is finally here. The first stage that Hyuga and Hikaru and Lean, the three from the new generation, will have to face is a battle royale. Ten challengers are separated into Group A and Group B. And Group A consists of Ikari, Drum, Sisko, Louie, and Lean. Who will be the first winner in the historic festival? So for the matchup, you can see Ikari, Drum, Sisko, Louie, and Lean. So that's five bladers. And that's the thing too, it's a little bit interesting because I would assume they would have do something like Bailey Burst Scott where they do the whole group thing and then after they just like, oh, go, go, go. It's, it's weird how it's a battle royale. Like a wee bit weird. Assuming that the protagonists don't have this sort of insane power, I would assume that maybe the twins start to lose and maybe they start to win through the rest of it. Maybe. So let's look. Okay, so I'm gonna just, for, for the group A, I'm just gonna go and I'm just gonna say which ones I think will probably lose and who will win at the end. I think Hikaru will lose, I think Sisko will lose, and I think probably at the end will be between Louis, Drum, and Lean. I don't know if Lean's gonna be that invincible that no one can stop him, or since this is a battle royale, if since he has that barrier and everything, they'll try to target him. I definitely think if it's not gonna be Lean, probably between Louis or Drum, but if I had to pick a bet, I'd probably go with Louis. Oh, also, here's something interesting. Hey, if Hikaru and Fuga. If Hyuga is in the festival, what do you think that means to Miss Jiro? <laughs> yeah? W w what do you think? What do you possibly think could have happened to Ranji- All I'm saying is, if Hyuga's in it, probably Ranji <laughs> lost to Lean and his bay got broken. I, w I want to also ask that because at this point we pretty much already know that like his bay is going to break, so I need to ask this for my fans. Yes or no? For when the episode comes out this week, do you want me to have, is it alright if I have the broken rag if Ragnarok does actually break in the thumbnail? Because at this point, you know, we basically already have the idea his baby's gonna break. If no, I won't do it and I'll just have Aiga in the thumbnail since I'm pretty sure we know that Aiga's gonna be appearing in 20. Then I guess not do anything for the episode after. Yeah, because the, yeah, the following one, yeah, that makes sense. All right, whatever. I, I probably want to quit them then. I'll, I'll just have I just to be safe. All right, moving on to the next one. This is the last time we get a summary for this one. The rest of them do not. Battle Royale: Hyuga versus the Legends. Nice. I'm feeling how they kind of hold off on saying who exactly. Before a Group B battles commences, Hyuga wants to get into some training and waits to battle Hikaru, but. Aiga Akaba, or Aiga Akabane, 
appears to not only help him in his training, even goes as far to tell him the honesty of Achilles' features. Then the second fight of the Battle Royale starts as Legends attack and defend no holding back. Hyperion punches into straight to crossfire and tentative title. Oh, basically the inside will probably be changed on its airing. I mean, you can read that there. Uh, as far as that is concerned, so it's interesting. Most likely what will happen is, just for my guess, I guess probably going to appear 20? Nothing in 21. And then after actually we see the full of Achilles and everything. But I, I do think without a doubt that the following week, we're gonna get all the info on Achilles. Now keep in mind, and I do have to stress this, that even if, even if for some reason, Coral Coral scans come out before the actual release, I am not covering it. So please, 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 if you are listening, understand that I cannot cover those types of leaks in general. You get the idea. Anyways, as far as this is concerned, not really too unexpected. As far as Achilles is concerned, I thought, I thought... I think they're trying to do this thing where they don't have the Bay's name in the title, because I remember with Master Diabolos, there was like a title that was like Master Smash, and I thought, hey, is it Master Diabolos? And it was. Before we actually knew anything about Master. So as far as this is concerned, I do want to also think about, as well, Achilles. Because I do want Achilles to have new parts. Specifically, I just want a new chassis. I don't want a repeat of 1B. I, and I don't even want a repeat of Dimension Dash. I just want new parts. Listen, I'm getting a wee bit sick and tired of having to get, like, the same old parts for Bayes. So for Achilles, all I'm saying is, right, just give us the parts, please. Or at least a new chassis, come on. At least a new chassis. Anyways, we're gonna be moving on. Let's go over to the next one. So I wonder, did I just skip all the way through? Did I just skip all the No, never mind. Uh, 23, Huga and Lean versus Karu and Aiga. So that'll be interesting to see. Uh, that's the thing though, like Huga and Lean, that's a pretty good team up right there. But Hikaru and Aiga, he's got Aiga on his side, but Lean with the defeated Legendary Blader is before. Mm. I mean, this will be interesting to see. I wonder if Hikaru is not going to get carried by his teammates, or if he's going to actually be able to do something, but I hope these two don't lose. I really hope so. Moving on, God Battle of Friendship, no clue what it is. Now since they're referencing a god, they'll pro probably for like when the dub does this, they'll probably change it to an evolution battle of friendship. Now let's think about characters in Beyblade vs. God, for who it could possibly be. I would assume maybe Bolton Free, maybe. Because Shu right now, it's way too early for him to do anything. So they'll probably hold off and do all these battles. And then after when Spring, like, I think Spriggan will only probably see near the end of September in the episodes. Because if we already know that Achilles is the next one, right? We gotta wait a long time for the Spriggan to come out in the random booster in October. We know for sure it has to be Spriggan in the random booster in October. So. They're gonna hold off on them. Now keep in mind, considering how this works and everything, they usually have the characters appear with their base, I think like a month in advance. At sometimes even less, sometimes even more. So, who knows? Who knows? I am extremely curious on how they're gonna make this play out. But, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section as far as Iga is concerned. I am very, very excited for the Legend Festival. I really want to know where they're going to have this go. My best guess is because of the amount of bladers and everything, what they will try to do is make it so that you get most of like the fan favorite matchups. 
and you see most of these characters like battle, 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 battle. So you can call it fan service, whatever, but that, that, that's my guess. That's my guess. The thing is, though, even even for right now, is there not going to be like some other plot or something? Is it going to be the whole thing is Legend Festival or? It, it seems weird because even with the short episodes of this series, you know, I don't really think even if they do all, unless they really just push it. I, 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 there's gotta be something else, isn't there? No, there's gotta be. Whatever. Anyways, you let me know your thoughts in the comment section. That is where we will be ending this video. Links in the description for any crediting. And thank you for watching. Have an awesome and amazing day.